back in the garage everyone and today we're going to be building a toolbox with a DRZ out of that stuff there. Let's go. A few things here, we've got a 90mm PVC pipe um, and then we've got the um, adapter for the end of it that goes over the um, pipe which has the threaded end on it um, which you then screw the cap on so that is going to be one end the end that I'll access the tools with I have a couple of clamps there which I have a feeling like I'm going to need to modify slightly which is fine um, and I've just got a bit of foam there I'm just going to slice an end off that and it's probably going to uh, sit neatly in here and in this end as well just to stop all of the tools from bashing around um, and just you know creating too much noise when I ride the bike. Now the middle bit of uh, channel that I have here that's actually going to go through the pipe and I'm going to put a backing on it so then when I pull it out the backing pulls all of the tools out so I can access them. So let's get this thing started. All right, so first what I want to do is I basically just want to sort of line it up where I want it. I have a rough idea of how long that I want it. Um, I don't really want it to go too much further past this blinker. It's going to land around this kind of length here. I'm going to cut it there now and then I'm going to fit it up and um, have a look at the brackets and other bits and pieces and see how it fits from there. All right, much better. So for this end part, I'm just going to use some silicon. I'm sure it'll stick fine. Okay, so same thing here. Just going to fill it all with silicon and spread around with my fingers and um, bang it on the other end of the pipe. That's it done. That's the pipe part done. Just got to get it mounted up, make sure it fits where we want it to and um, maybe give it a coat of paint, make it look a little bit better. It's probably roughly where it's going to go. So with these brackets, they're obviously not going to go right around. So I'm just going to grab them and bend them out straight so that when they go around, you know, they have a flat space to then be clamped into a little washer in between, a spacer, um, and then I can run a bolt through it. I'm just gonna cut a little spacer out of this tubing that I've got here, and then put it in the middle and the problem solved. All right, so we've got our spacer cut now. So that's just gonna go in between these two pieces here, and that is our bracket that's gonna attach to um, underneath uh, the rack there and that's gonna hold that end snug and good to go All right, so that's basically the front one done uh, I've just got it in there loosely, but I'm gonna end up putting the other one sort of up around this general area here I wouldn't say I'm super happy with the um, This brackets fine, but the little piece that joins underneath onto the actual rack itself It's just very very like thin sheet metal. So um, I'm actually gonna swap that out. And the same thing with this, this back bracket that I'll have going up to here. It's gonna make out of like a little bit of mild steel. It's just gonna be a, a little bit sturdier, especially, you know, while I'm riding and stuff like that. And there's a bit of weight in there moving around. Um, I want it to be a little bit more secure than um, what this will end up providing. So we'll get them measured up, cut them out, drill them, and then bang them on. So that's it all mounted up. Got the brackets at the height that I want them. And um, that's pretty much how the finished product's sort of gonna sit. Um, pretty happy with how close it is to the guard there. It still gives me enough sort of space to take this off and get the tools out. Um, the only thing is under here, I just need to be careful. Um, it looks like it'll miss with the suspension travel, the tire, um, but I'm just gonna keep an eye on it um, and if it starts sort of rubbing on here, um, I'll just have to come up with a plan B, but I think we're pretty safe for now. Um, 
I'll just end up replacing these bolts up here, um, making them a little bit shorter and um, she should be pretty sweet. So, so I'll move on to the inside of it now and um, put a lick of paint on it and we'll be good to go. So I've just drilled a couple of holes in this channel and I've made up a bracket to go on the end of it. Um, I'm just gonna rivet them together. Two rivets is a little bit of overkill, but I'm gonna do it anyway, just to make sure it stays on there properly. Now I'm just gonna slice a little piece off this so it can sit flush up against the inside of the toolbox um, and it'll just stop any sort of loud um, noises coming from vibration or anything like that. Just gonna run some Gorilla Glue down the back of this um, bracket here. I'm also just gonna put some on the inside of the slid so that when I put this foam piece on there, it'll stick in there as well. Alright guys, so everything's all painted and ready for reassembly. So we're just gonna bang that back on now and uh, see how it looks when it's all together. All right, she's all done. Pretty stoked with how it's sort of sitting in there. Clears that back guard. It's just sitting under that, that blinker really good. So um, that black paint's probably not gonna stay on there very long, but I don't really care. I reckon I'll end up just laying some stickers all over it as I, um, you know, collect them. Gives me somewhere to put them. So um, don't really care too much about the black paint. So this is what it looks like inside. So I just grab the tongue there and pull that out and pulls all the tools forward, which I obviously don't have in there yet. And then push it back in and the lid goes on just like that. So, so guys, like I said, I'm probably going to stick a bomb this because the paint's just going to um, scratch off and everything like that anyway. So I thought to christen it with the first sticker, we might bang. the Dark Visor Moto Crew one on there. There you go, Dark Visor. I'm sure you'll be loving that. Right, everyone, we're done with this little DIY project for the toolbox on the bike. Um, everything in total ended up costing me about 41 bucks. Uh, I got all that from Bunnings as well, so um, pretty cheap considering, you know, it gives you a good good little spot to, to carry your tools and uh, maybe some temp heads, depending on how big you end up making yours. So. I hope this video has helped someone give them a bit of inspiration to make their own toolbox or gives them a few ideas to maybe do it a little bit different or something like that. So um, as always guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.